this whole uh, program of nuclear security summits, uh, which is what we're talking about these days in this year, uh, was started really by a promise that Obama made in his uh, Prague speech soon after he got elected, uh, where he said, amongst other things, that he would set this sequence of conferences going. And it was a very good thing he did this because nuclear materials is the kind of subject where everybody is in agreement. It's not like disarmament where you some countries agree, some don't, some feel we are doing enough. Nuclear material security, it's like motherhood and apple pie. Everybody says it must be, it's good. So the net result was that all the participants had no difficulty unanimously agreeing to the various uh, uh, statements that were made at the end. And the participants were a huge number of countries, 47 countries or some such number, including countries like India and Pakistan, because we are not part of NPT, uh, we were normally not included in many of these discussions. Nuclear suppliers group discussions, we are not part of it and so on. Here, we were there invited by uh, President Obama as full-fledged participants, Indians and Pakistanis. And uh, Dr. Manmohan Singh went from our side and gave a very nice presentation. And then this was followed two years later by the summit in uh, Seoul and the next one is at the hub. Uh, another good thing that happens about with these governmental summits is that on the sidelines of these summits, there is also a gathering together of uh, experts from the various NGOs around the world. Not all of them, but some of them get together. Uh, and you discuss various technical aspects of what can be done there. And these recommendations are passed on in some sense to the summit. Uh, so I've been fortunate in being asked to speak at that uh, every time, including this time in Amsterdam. And that's another useful thing which comes out of the summit. Uh, that the nuclear material security is important is something I hardly need to underline. Uh, there is a huge amount of nuclear materials that have accumulated around the world. Uh, some 1,400 tons of uranium, highly enriched uranium, then some four or five uh, 100 tons of plutonium, 500 to be precise. Uh, these are massive quantities because out of these 500 tons of plutonium, a bad guy, a terrorist, so to speak, needs to only pull out 5 kilograms, which is much less than 0.1% to make a bomb. So this is a large, massive amount of uh, material lying around, which has to be guarded to an accuracy of 5 kilograms out of 5 tons, which is not easy at all. So it's a very major task, and I'm glad that the world started working on it and I'm glad that the people who worry about these details like security of nuclear materials and so on who've been worrying about it for decades have finally been empowered by their own heads of government going to this meeting and agreeing this is important when they come back home they instruct the government that this is important which gives a great deal of boost to people who've been doing this all along so I think it's a very very good thing that's done and I hope that the next summit at the Hague going to be held in three weeks from now, uh, would also be productive and come out with some useful contributions and recommendations.